SEC baseball kicks off the conference schedule tonight on a cool but clear evening in Fayetteville. Bob Walker Stadium is the site of a matchup between the 10th ranked Arkansas Razorbacks and the Missouri Tigers. For the Tigers tonight, they will face Missouri native Isaiah Campbell's on the hill. Yeah, Isaiah Campbell's been lights out so far for Arkansas. You see that velocity. That's an easy 91 to 95. Big overhand curve, and he's put in a splitter this year, Brett. So that's the changeup he's going with and has some really nice downward movement. And the Tigers have a base runner. And Campbell. Whole junior bluffs going and a swing and a miss. With the 20 free passes this year, Holt Jr. runs, swing and a miss, throw down is on line, and it is in time. Nice throw that time from Casey Opitz. Ezel will poke one to center for a base hit. 22nd hit of the year for Trevor. Fletcher straight away. Fletcher sends one towards the left field corner. Holt Jr. over to cut it off. And Ezell in standing at third on a double from Dominic Fletcher. Opitz walks for the 15th time this season in the hall. And a bases loaded walk forces in the game's first run. Strike out, and the last was part of a throw him out double play. Perfectly placed inside corner at the knee. Whatever he's going to throw. Big bounce for Ezell. Campbell gets over to cover. And a 1-2-3 second inning for the Tigers. And lines one towards Franklin, and he can't make the catch. Might have hit his glove and then landed. And he gets the strikeout. What a chance to get him at first if he puts it in play. That doesn't help. He might have to do some push-ups. Hit it in the air instead. An easy catch for Fletcher. And Isaiah Campbell works around the leadoff yeah, single. Last season to the draft and Brian Sharp. Down looking goes man. And the Royals. Meisner knew it. Down looking. Seven Ks for Campbell. Battle of San Jack Gators again. Goodhart sends one towards right center field. Meisner over to cut it off. Goodhart's going to try to go to second base, and the throw is offline, and that is a leadoff double. Kenley lifting one towards right center field. Peterson back in the shadows of the scoreboard. And Goodhart will tag. He'll move up 90 feet to third on that deep fly from Kenley. Golden opportunity presents itself in the fourth. A flare towards right. Peterson will make the catch. Goodhart will tag. The throw may go to the backstop, and it's 2-0 Razorbacks. For either called strikes or swing and misses. You have the chance to string together some good starts. And Veerling had a really nice hit his last at-bat. The only one for the Tigers today, another play for Nesbitt. This time the throw is true. Yeah, kind of let that one go a little bit. Didn't the quite... batty looks like Pujols, yeah, right? Yeah, that's nice. Looks like Pujols. Hard to swing like Trying Alvin. To get going early on. Another one shot towards the right field. Could to Horner. Goodhart is going to have extra bases, and he will stop at second base with a double. The state of Arkansas. Kenley hits a soft comebacker. Canterbury zips one over the first to leave Goodhart in scoring Just position. Again. Cameron Meisner, Isaiah Campbell. Little tapper back to the mound, and Isaiah, after striking out Meisner the first two times, gets a soft ground ball. This should fall in and will. McDaniel with the two-out single. Hit number two for the Tigers tonight. Ezell will smother it. Race to the bag, retire Ortiz. That is seven scoreless innings for Isaiah Campbell. We'll stretch him out of Bomb Walker. Nesbitt has one of the two RBIs for the Razorbacks, and he socks one to left for a base hit. And a good beginning for the Razorbacks here in the seventh. Is Franklin 0 for 2 in the game, and now trying to give himself up, and he will do the sacrifice successfully. Goobelman nearly slipped as he started a back pedal. Kerstad drills one to Meisner in center, doesn't have to move much in the inning end. So the Hogs 
Got the leadoff base hit from Nesbitt. They left him in scoring position. Yeah, Jacob Kostyshak is a guy that really has an electric arm. He'll run that fastball 94, 95. Kind of has that three-quarter delivery. Throws out of the stretch in every pitch. And Campbell struck out 11 in his seven scoreless innings. How about 97 on the gun? Whew. Chopper up the middle. Martin ranging in front of the bag at second. Throws a dart over the first. And Veerling retired. Strike three call. Took something off at 96 MPH. He just guided that <laughs> one in, didn't he? Around right here. Walked him. Great job by Peters. And a payoff. Right to Ezell. And Kostyshak works around the walk in a wild pitch. He may reach. McDaniel slipped on the throw, and Fletcher beats it. Yeah, the, the plant foot of McDaniel. He goes Catch to that thing. Help a brother out. Ball J.C. Four. Opitz walks for the 16th time. Good heart. Serves one to left center. Meisner on the move will track it down. Fletcher will tag. He will advance to third. Another good swing by Goodhart, but he is. And Kenley will go down on strikes, sending us to the ninth. Heart of the Tiger lineup do up. Man, Meisner, and Cornelius. And we'll see if Matt Cronin comes in. Now Matt Cronin will try and finish off a three-pitcher shutout. There's the numbers coming in, 2.94. Boy, the strikeouts continue to be. Big time number oh two. Curious to see what he does here. The man goes right after him. Three pitches and a strikeout to start the ninth inning. Where it wasn't unreachable. Another strikeout for Cronin. Two gone, ninth inning. Game going. And the payoff pitch from Cronin. And we'll play on. The tying run will bat after the two out walk. Any little ground ball of the infield, you want to make them throw across the diamond. Ball game. Cronin strikes out three to save a win for Isaiah Campbell. And the Hogs win their SEC opener two to nothing over the Missouri Tigers. Well, Brett, that's a pretty lethal combination when you go Campbell to Costi Shock to Cronin. That's, that's tough to beat.